Orange is a dangerous thing. I'm here with Paul Tilton, who is the director of the Department of Public Works in the town of Sandwich. And there are a few things that are going on in Sandwich as far as road construction, paving, that type of thing. We wanted to focus on a couple of the major projects, which aren't actually town projects, so to speak, but uh, state projects. Two of those being the roundabout that's going in at the intersection of South Sandwich Road, Harlow Road, and Katuit Road, where those three meet as well as exit two on the mid cape. So let's, let's start uh, off with this roundabout. The uh, intersection down there got a lot of attention because we understand it was um, the site of a number of accidents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this location was ranked number two on our high accident location in Sandwich, um, right behind exit uh, two. And we, we've uh, attempted to make some improvements over the years. We did some studies. We made some minor improvements. We did see some reduction in accidents, but it wasn't enough um, to actually re reduce the, uh, the, the, the danger out at that location. So we were looking to um, further make improvements out there. Unfortunately, uh, a program came along through the Mass DOT system called the, the Highway Safety Improvement Program, which allowed us not only to, to have the state design it, but also construct uh, the, uh, the improvement out there. So the idea of having a roundabout <coughs> as opposed to a four-way stop, mm -hmm. what, what's the rationale? We did look at a, a bunch of alternatives. One was the four-way stop, and I think we, we used the, uh, the example over in Barnstable, the, the race lane at 149 roundabout. Initially, they had uh, just two stop signs. They had a lot of accidents and delays there. They went to a four-way stop to see if that would improve uh, the situation. Unfortunately, the, uh, the delays were even worse in their long queues um, at that intersection, and uh, actually the accidents were much better. So they looked at um, implementing the, uh, the, the, the roundabout at that location, and it was sort of a pilot project, for, uh, I think, uh, for that area, because it was one of the first on Cape Cod of the new roundabouts. Mm -hmm. um, they made some adjustments along the way, and uh, it works quite well right now, and the, uh, the capacity through that intersection is a lot better uh, then both a signal or a four-way stop. So that's why we looked to, to go that route. Now the difference between a roundabout and a rotary. Yeah, a, a, a rotary is sort of the, the, the old uh, large design. Um, it, it's a, sort of a, a larger circle. As you approach it, you really don't have to slow down. You re don't really need to yield. With the roundabout, what it does is it increases the deflection angle as you approach the intersection. So you, you're forced to slow down. Um, you almost have to take a right turn instead of yield um, and improve safety as, as well f as flow through the traffic island. So because it's smaller mm -hmm. and there are longer trucks and uh, ladder trucks and things like that from the yeah. fire department that have to negotiate these, um, how is it designed so that it can accommodate a longer vehicle? There are, there are certain standards we have to follow engineering wise in order to accommodate these large vehicles. Uh, we use what's called a, a WB50 which is a, a wheelbase of 50 feet. So that would be a tractor trailer. We need to make sure that any of the turning moments can accommodate a WB50 design or a tractor trailer. We also did a, a test run with uh, the fire trucks, uh, our tower truck through that area to make sure it can negotiate the turns. And we do have the asphalt that can accommodate for the most part uh, vehicles such as a car and uh, someone towing a trailer. But for the larger vehicles there are aprons that they can use in case they need to, to better negotiate those turns. So all of those, uh, those the, the <coughs> granite stones and all, that's really part of the design, not just for aesthetic Absolutely, feature. absolutely. So you can, a truck could drive in the, on the center of those granite stones and on the uh, outside apron as well? Correct. Okay. So, and that's one of the questions that came up about that one is I think that people were seeing the development of the rotary down at this location and did not think that big trucks could get around on it. Right. And it, as it turns out, that's been in, uh, it's been included in the design and, and um, uh, truckers and, and uh, firefighters will learn how to negotiate that. Right. Yes. Let's, let's uh, switch over to exit two. That's, uh, that's been a, a deadly exit, uh, and the most notorious accident <coughs> happened on an Easter morning after uh, an Easter egg hunt down at the public safety buildings in Sandwich, mm -hmm. and uh, two parents of um, a couple of kids got killed there. So what are they doing to uh, fix that, that ramp system? 
There's, there's a number of things they're doing at that location. Obviously, the fatalities were, were a major concern out there and, and the congestion as well. So they, they looked at not only um, improving the traffic flow, but the safety at that location. And there are, they're reconfiguring the ramps to, to slow down the vehicles as they approach and make it safer as they approach Route 130. So uh, it's sort of similar to the roundabout where they, as they approach Route 130, they're forced to slow down before they yield on to um, Route 130. Um, so that helps safety at the ramps. They're also installing traffic signals. And the biggest problem with, with intersections is left turns. How do you deal with the left turns in terms of the delays that the left turns have and also the safety issue with the left turns conflicting with other vehicles. And so the signal will allow a designated green time for those left turns now, um, both entering and exiting Route, route 6. And what is the estimated time that they're going to finish uh, not only the exit uh, to work, but the roundabout down on Katuit Road? The estimated time for, for exit two, the, um, the project will be 95% complete by, by winter. And the, the remaining 5% will probably be the landscaping, which will be completed next spring. Okay. The roundabout, the majority of that will be completed this fall, uh, again, with probably some landscaping take place next spring, and that should be completed by the, the summer of next year. And with the 30 seconds that we have left, um, the paving that's going on, which is actually your department that controls that, um, are we looking forward to paving projects that will continue until it gets uh, frozen over? Right, we'll continue the, the paving projects uh, up through November and um, weather depending, uh, dependent obviously, if we have some rain, we might have some, some changes in schedule, but that'll be completed uh, by November and uh, um, we'll look to start up that probably next spring as well. That's sort of a continual process. We try to slow down a little bit in the summer because of the, the, the traffic, though. Right. Needs to be done, though. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of pavement out there that's uh, lifted off the, the road base, and so right. um, uh, people are looking forward to getting those roads fixed. Yeah. I appreciate, again, that you've come by and talked to us about this, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Okay, thank you. My pleasure.